Good evening everyone. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic which is PMMC. It stands for Permanent Magnet Magnet Moving Coil. coil type instrument so this particular instrument is used to measure the value of DC current or voltages in this particular instrument it is an important instrument because it is a very important instrument because it is among some of the instruments which have the capability to measure only DC so now let us try to understand the working by going to the name only so in this one it says it is a permanent magnet type so permanent magnet type means it has to have a permanent magnet uh, let's consider this as a permanent magnet let's call it the north pole and let's call it the south pole of the magnet now as the name suggests it has to have a moving coil so let's consider one coil here which is rectangular in shape it is a moving coil now for any instrument there has to be a, a pointer so let's consider one pointer uh, let's call it a pointer oh, sorry this doesn't look like a pointer let me take one straight line and then come again okay where can I find the straight line I don't know let me touch it okay straight line I got it here so let's call it a pointer so what is going to happen uh, as the name suggests what can happen possibly is that some magnetic field lines will be there from North Pole to South Pole so when we place a moving coil in a magnetic field what will happen an EMF will be generated right it will be similar to the functioning of a generator if we move a generator or a coil in the presence of a magnetic field it has to follow the Faraday's electromagnetic induction induction principle that says EMF is equal to d phi by dt which is the rate of change of flux and since the coil is moving and the flux is obviously changed but in this case what is going to happen is a little bit distinct in this case we are going to supply it from a voltage source let's call it a voltage source V and it has to be a DC so what can happen it can really function on the principle of a DC motor we have a magnetic field which can be generated which can be called as a field winding winding okay and we have a current carrying coil so whenever a current carrying coil comes under the inf influence of a magnetic field it will experience a force so in here we have a north pole in here we have a south pole we also have a coil so whenever one particular coil let me consider it this so this particular coil with will experience a force given by F is given by I L cross P so L is basically a vector in the direction of current B is basically the magnetic field so, so in this case so the magnetic field is from north to south so it is B now L will be in upwards direction as it can be seen here 
so L will be in upwards direction so in that case B L cross B L cross B is going to be inside the plane of board if we are looking at the board then a force has to be exerted that will point inside L market this will be the force so in that case the this particular wire this particular wire will tend to move downwards on this principle only the PMMC type instruments work in PMMC we have two coils sorry two sides of the coils which are in direct influence of the north and south pole it means this will be the north pole this will be the south pole we have the coil sides let me color it in some different color which color you like okay let's take it a glint of red this particular side and this particular side will experience a force and in that case if the current flows in this direction in this coil it will flow in this direction in the other side of the coil in that case one of them will experience an upward force and the other will experience a downward one let's say uh, this one this particular one experiences an upward force this particular coil experiences an upward force in that case this one will experience a downward force and hence the coil will tend to rotate in this direction now if I connect this particular coil with a pointer the pointer is also going to move and that a pointer when it moves in a scale let's call it a pointer when it moves in a scale it can be the scale can be calibrated so that the force more efficiently in this case if I call it a torque I should call it a torque which is represented by tau so tau can be directly proportional to the current flowing in the system so this can be the case okay fine now let's move on to the derivation of this particular type of instrument in this instrument let me call we have a magnetic field I'll denote it by B we have a current let me denote it by I we have we have the distance between the coil center and the edge of the coil I'll call it as R I'll call the area of the coil as A the number of turns be N so let me go in a pictorial diagram so in that case what is that if this is a coil and then this thing is R area will be if I call it L I call it it will be 2R so area is equal to A is equal to L into 2R ok now B is the magnetic field uh, let me denote it by a green color so B is the magnetic field it is from north to south let's call it north let's call it south so it will be B now N will be the number of turns the number of turns means this coil may be made of many turns this will be turn 1 turn 2 turn 3 a lot of turns can be there that is N okay so now uh, let's move into the derivation we know that we have to basically calculate the torque and we have to deduce the relationships such that torque be directly proportional to current right so in that case let us try to find out now if I take this particular coil for this coil the force will be F is equal to B I L as we all know it can be upwards it can be downwards it is okay because if it is upwards in one side of the coil it has to be downwards in the other side of the coil because the field direction of the field is same but the direction of the current in the coils will be different so in that case F is equal to B I L now torque there is a very simple relation a torque is R cross F 
now since r and f are perpendicular we just we will just write it as rf okay so tau is equal to rf in that case let us replace it this thing will be substituted it will be r into b into i i will be capital let's call it capital this will be l now since this is the torque on one coil let's call it one edge of the coil one edge edge of the coil of the coil the same amount of torque will be exerted on the other edge of the coil so tau is equal to r b i l will be exerted on this particular side of coil so the total tor torque exerted on the coil will be 2 b i l into r now what do you see if you take a closer look this particular uh, to see it from the previous slide it will be equal to something like b i a i'll show you look we have it here but this one i'll just highlight it for your quick understanding this thing we we deduced in here now area is equal to l into 2 same thing i have just put it here so it comes out to be b into i into a so now a tau is equal to i a it implies that a tau is directly proportional to i so clearly the torque is the torque of the instrument is directly proportional to i so this a particular instrument can measure the value of current flowing through the coil now uh, one question must arise in your mind that why only dc why only dc why not ac2 this is a very fine question that should come in your mind so the answer to that this is if torque would have been per proportional to i square it would be wonderful because the rm uh, because the waveform of sinusoidal ac will be like this so if you go for an i square it will become something like this right in that case the average value average value i average will not be equal to zero but in this case when a torque is proportional to i tau being proportional to i we have to see that the average value of ac the average value of this particular ac will be equal to zero and hence i average will be equal to zero and hence a tau is equal to zero so it is used for measurement of dc right direct current for ac we will go for another type of instrument which is p m m i permanent magnet moving iron and this thing i am going to discuss in my next lecture okay friends thanks for watching like it and subscribe and i'll come again with a with another interesting lecture on pmmi until then goodbye take care